Hey YouTube, it's new two and one coming to you with a video. Singing about nothing, but I'm singing a song because I'm gonna give you a video. I've got hair, I've got tutorials, I've got makeup too. It's me randomly singing about stuff and talking about stuff I know nothing about. It's new two and one. It's new two and one. I'm a cornball. Hey YouTube, it's New211 and I'm coming to you with um, a little bit of an info video regarding some frequently asked questions that I get from my subscribers. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, the more you subscribe and the more times that you ask me questions, the more I'll be able to you know, help you on your journey and you guys can share with me and help me as well. Um, Alright, so as I said in my past couple of videos, I've been locking for a little bit over a year. This is my first set of locks. They're totally homemade. My friend started my locks with coils and um, I found that I had to switch over to interlocking because of the texture, the texture of my hair. The reason why your locks may not be locking is because you may be using the wrong method to lock your hair. Okay, absorb that, okay? Uh, I know that sucks. Oh no, but I've been doing it for six months and it's still not locking. It's so annoying. What's wrong with my hair? There's nothing wrong with your hair. There's nothing wrong with your hair. Your hair may not be conducive to the traditional form of locking. And by that, I mean the twist with the comb. We all know that people take the flat, you know, the, the rat tail comb and use gel or aloe vera or, um, beeswax which you shouldn't use and they go ahead and they lock their hair they twist it up and they expect locks and you won't always get locks because your hair texture may not be conducive to that some people the most traditional traditional form is free form where you just wash your hair separate it out and let it do what it do i wish i could do that but i can't my hair is not conducive to that type of locking because my hair texture does not match that there's nothing wrong with my hair there's nothing wrong with your hair your hair just is not your hair just will not lock that way because what locking really is, is the matting of the hair. And the hair has to be compressed together and have friction in order for it to lock. So you may need to try another method of locking. You should really think about this before you lock your hair. You should think about your hair texture. That is the most important thing. More important than the size of your locks that you want to use and how easy you want it to be is the texture of your hair. Think about the texture of your hair because nothing will frustrate you more than using the wrong method for the texture of your hair. Now for me, my hair is, and I've said it before, but I'll just say it again in this video and I'm sorry if I'm being redundant, my hair is straight yet kink. I think interlocking is a better method if you don't have coily hair because it allows your hair to stay together long enough in order to have my hair palm rolled and it was the most annoying experience of my life. Even if I palm rolled my hair, it would take it out of the, out of the coil. If I laid on my hair, it would take it out of the coil. If I sweat, it would come out of the coil. And if you want to work out like how I want to work out, then that's not conducive to a lifestyle. I couldn't even be in a humid place or else it will come out of the coil and you know you really need to think about that what type of texture is your hair before you go ahead and interlock your hair if you have a hair texture that's like mine and I'll put up a, a picture of my hair texture now if you have a hair texture that is like mine then you will probably not benefit from palm, from from twisting with a comb and then just maintaining from palm rolling. Once you find that it's been months and months and months and months and no result, it's time to maybe try another method. So you can switch from palm rolling to interlocking your locks. And I did that around the the four or five month mark. Um, once you already have your hair coiled and or you already have your hair two strand twisted and you find that it's not staying like that and therefore it's not locking because if it doesn't stay it won't lock. Once you're already in that situation I think the best thing to do is to start interlocking your new growth and the best way to do that is to 
put your finger all into the root of the hair and go all the way down until you feel it stop inside the hair and you feel that you can't go any further where it is locked and there may not be very much of that locked hair and start interlocking your hair. I have a how-to video on how to interlock dreads. You do that in a four-point formation and um, it'll, it'll hold your hair together long enough for it to lock. It should not cause your locks to break to switch to another method. If it's causing your locks to break, you probably have massive hair damage already like you already probably have a problem and I find that highly unlikely I think that a lot of the times when locticians tell you things like oh you'll get gaps in your locks if you switch to interlocking or your locks will break or they'll fall off or whatever it's just because they don't know how to do it your locks may not be locking because you may be using the wrong method to lock your hair and the method that you use depends on the texture of your hair and if you have kinky yet straight hair or coily yet soft hair and not kinky and coily hair it may be better for you to try interlocking or braid locking or something like that so there's different methods you can braid the new growth interlock the new growth um, but palm rolling just may not be for you it may be very frustrating so um, I've got a vid on how to do that and uh, some styles that you can do uh, with interlocked dreads. And if you have any more questions, rate, comment, subscribe, and I will be sure to get back to you with any questions that you have. Uh, you can send it either personal message or video response. And have a good night, YouTube. Yeah, that's it. Okay, bye, YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.